Good evening, everyone. It's another wonderful Sunday, except that most people have had to stay at home because of the sit at home order given by the government. I just want to take time out to share God's word with us that could help us weather the time that we are in. I remember the book of Numbers, chapter 21, from verse 4 to 9. Uh, when the children of Israel sinned and um, fairy serpents were biting them and people were dying in their numbers. Then God asked Moses to make uh, a wooden cross and then put a bronze, a, uh, a, a bronze serpent on that cross. And that anybody who look at that bronze serpent will be saved. Jesus spoke expressly in the book of John chapter 3 from verse 14. He said that as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, he said, so shall he be lifted up, that anyone that look up to him be saved. We are in an age and time when we now need to understand that there is a need for man to seek God again. What is going on these days, it's, 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 it's giving room for reflective thinking. It's giving room for us to have a retrospective thinking about our lives and about things that are going on. Funny enough, the motto and the logo of the medical profession is a symbol of that cross with the bronze serpent that Moses raised in the wilderness. And you know, the motto says, we, we care, but God heals. So which means, ultimately, healing belongs to God. The Bible says that it's the Jehovah Rapha, the Lord that healeth. I don't want to quote mm -hmm. Psalm 91 to us because I will be lying quoting Psalm 91. Because Psalm 91 has a condition to be fulfilled. It says, the plague shall not come near your dwelling. But the first verse says, those that dwell in the secret place of the Most High, which means that Psalm 91 is exclusive for those who dwell in the secret place, those who have constant communion with God, those who fellowship with Him, those who have given themselves wholly to the Word of God and their profiting is appearing, those who have the aura of God around them, those are the ones that benefit from Psalm 91. And so, I just want us to know that God is, at this period, asking us to have an inward check. Isaiah chapter 55 and verse 7 says that, Let the wicked man forsake his ways and the righteous man his thoughts. I return to our Lord and he will have mercy. And to our God he will abundantly pardon. That scripture is meant for two types of people tonight. The first set are those who are neither in or out as believers, those who have backslidden, those who have not have not have not gone all the way with God. He's stretching out his hands tonight and saying, Well, it is time for you to return to him. It is time for you to have a change of heart. And for those who do not know the Lord, it's calling you back. It's calling you. It's calling you. It's calling you. It's calling you. Remember, Jesus said that he will be lifted up and anybody that believe in him will not perish but he will have eternal life at this junction i want us to know that it is not over it is not a death sentence god knew that there was going to be a time like this and i want you to know that he's a merciful god he's a god who will preserve he's a god who will keep but you see, God has not, cannot bend the standard. He cannot, he cannot, he cannot, he cannot sweep away his word. The Bible says that he has esteemed his word above his name. So it is we that needs to change our ways. It's the, it is us that needs to come to the Lord. The medical profession says we care, but God heals. This afternoon I heard that this virus is, uh, can be here for eight hours. You can never be too safe with it. What about all those people who have come into contact with so many people who have come into this country, you know, carrying that virus? 
you can never say and how far with the ripple effect of those also coming in contact with other people so which means that more than ever we need a divine hand we need a divine intervention if doctors can say that god heals they only care and then we need to set our gaze beyond all things and set our gaze to god ephesians chapter 2 verse 2 says that we are once under the power of the power of the prince of here wow satan is the is the prince of the hair and he had power over the hair it seems as if he's now about taking this virus into another level huh they have now discovered that the virus spent eight hours airborne it's unleashing mayhem into the whole world but one thing i know is that god bible says when the enemy rushing like a flood the spirit of the lord will raise up a standard the spirit of god is ready to raise up a standard and to keep you the spirit of the lord is ready to raise up a standard and to fend off this evil scourge the bible says that the name of the lord is a strong tower the righteous will run into it and be saved are you a righteous person it is time to give your life to christ mm -hmm. and for those who are back i say it's time to come back home i want you to know that god will preserve us god will have mercy are you there are you all right do you do you have the symptoms or are you scared that you are coming to contact with those who have who, who, who have it i want you to know that like that scripture said in isaiah 55 he said you are abundantly pardoned he's a merciful god i have that the mercy of god speak for you and i have that the healing power of god touch you in the name of jesus christ romans chapter 8 verse 11 says um, how much more will not the spirit of him that raised up Jesus Christ from the dead quicken your mortal bodies by the same spirit? That spirit that raised up Jesus Christ from the dead is the only spirit. He is the executor of the counsel of God. He is the power. He is the one that stopped the body of Jesus Christ from having rigomotis for three days. He prevented that same body from decaying in the grave for three days. And on the third day, Jesus arose by the power of that spirit, the Holy Spirit. <laughs> he came back for he did not see corruption. And his body was given back to him without decay. And that same spirit is working in the life of those who have given their life to Christ. And I say, you have no need to fear. Because that same spirit will quicken your mother bodies and will strengthen your body your antibodies and your immunity and you will not be susceptible to this disease in the name of jesus christ if you have vita that spirit will kill off will kill off will kill off the virus in your body in the name of jesus christ and therefore i want you to understand that for with god we have all the hope for with god we have the assurance isaiah chapter 26 and verse 3 says that uh, that will keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on you i want your eyes to be i want your mind to be stayed on god i want your gaze to be fixed on god at this at this time in the history of the world for i know that those who put their trust in him will not be put to shame he said god that will keep him in perfect peace as i have six verse three again he will keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on you because he trusts in you and I know the Bible says those who put their trust in God will never be put to shame. You will never be put to shame. And I know that we will rejoice at the end of the day. I know that at the end of the day, we will laugh over this issue. It is lasting, but can never be everlasting. The only one that is everlasting is our God. The only thing that is everlasting is the word of God, is the truth. John 17, 17 says, sanctify them by the truth. That word of God is true. And therefore... As the rod of Moses swallowed up all the serpents of the Egyptians, the serpent of God that brings life, the serpent of God that redeem, like that serpent, the bronze serpent, that is a that is a type of our Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, swallow up uh, this plague in the name of Jesus Christ, and I want you to know that an head has come to this church. And that it will not take you away with it. Stay blessed. Stay strong. Believing in Christ. I know that he is a bulwark of strength at this time. And I know that God does not fail. 
neither does his word fail. The Bible says all the promises of God, they are here and amen in Christ Jesus. The mercy of God will prevail over us. Be strong. Shalom. Good night.